What's up everybody, How to Tech bringing you another tough test. Uh, this one will be on the Samsung Galaxy S8. We're going to start it off with the scratch test first. Uh, the goal being to see how this phone takes abuse uh, simulated over time. We're going to put it in this rock tumbler uh, and let it tumble. Uh, we'll see how well the, the bezel gets scratched up, check out the camera glass, uh, the fingerprint sensor, uh, any additional pieces that may get scratched uh, unintentionally. So we're going to go ahead and just insert some keys in here uh, and put the phone in. We'll put it screen side down for the first portion of this. Uh, we'll let it go ahead and rotate in this manner for 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes is up, we'll go ahead and switch it to the opposite side and let it tumble for an additional 15 minutes. The 15 minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and switch it to the opposite side, get equal tumble on both sides. We've let the phone tumble for a full 30 minutes with these keys and some random gadgets with it, uh, some keychains and whatnot. We'll take a look at the bezel here real quick and we can see that there are some scratches along the side of the phone. Uh, nothing extreme, uh, but it did take a little bit more abuse than I expected. The metal does seem to be a little bit sturdy than we've seen on the LG G6. I'm not 100% sure what it's made out of, uh, but it does feel a little bit more solid. I thought that this would be a little bit stronger than the aluminum frame, but it looks like it's actually taking a little bit more punishment uh, than what we saw on any of the other devices we've tested so far, which is a little bit interesting to me. I was thinking that this being a silver bezel uh, may not scratch as much. You can see that the glass on the device uh, is completely unscathed. There's no micro scratches, nothing on the device that would indicate uh, that it's been in your pocket with the keys itself, although the keys itself shouldn't scratch it. It's a little tiny bit of scuffing on the camera, but nothing major. We're going to go ahead and put some additional items in, some screws, a drill bit, uh, something that you might put in with your phone in the pocket on accident if you're uh, working around the house or maybe you have uh, a day job that requires uh, a little bit different type of work than just sitting within an office. We're going to let this go ahead and tumble. We'll go ahead and flip it again, let it tumble on both sides for 15 minutes and take a look at the device. We're going to go ahead and clean it up. It's been in the tumbler with those additional lines for 15 minutes as well. Let's see how this looks. Back glass is fantastic. The bezel, you can see that there are a lot of nicks and scuffs. Uh, they're pretty small, but I mean, it's enough that uh, it definitely affects the overall appearance of the device. You can just see that they're just tiny little ones everywhere. Some of the corners took a lot more scuffing than I expected. Uh, you can see that kind of dirty gray, dark gray color. That's all deep scratches into the bezel of the device. The glass itself is perfectly fine, no scratches at all in the device. The Gorilla Glass 5 on this is held up quite nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it face down, give it a couple turns. I've done this with all the devices that we've tested uh, to give you an idea of how it would scuff if it's pulled against, I don't know, concrete or a tile. You can see that these major marks are on the side. There's some pretty deep scratches in here uh, from just three quick turns. It's not a lot of pressure. Down here at the bottom, you can see uh, right here across the bottom of the device as well, but nothing in the center of the device, which is quite nice. There are just a couple micro scratches that didn't show up on camera. On the back you can see that there are some scuffs in the middle of the device, but the majority of the scuffing takes place at the top and the bottom corners of the device. At the top up here, that all went to the camera bezel. The lens itself is not scratched. We're going to move on to the bend test. Now, this will be the last time that I test the phone bend in this manner. This is an actual test. These device companies do have a bend test butt machine. If you check it out, LG's got one uh, where they actually put it in a simulation of being sat on. It's a robot buttocks and they just insert the phone in it and they let it go to town. So this has probably already been done this device. Um, it all seemed to come about during Bengate, uh, during the iPhone 6. Uh, this is not a plus version of the phone, but uh, I don't expect that would bend either. These phones seem to be extremely sturdy. They're a little bit heavier than the LG G6 in my opinion. Uh, I don't suspect that this phone will bend at all, but it's always reassuring to know uh, that a 190 pound guy can sit on this phone and not have any issues with bending. My straight edge here is showing us that both sides of the device are still nice and straight. 
We're gonna move on to the bend test. We're gonna drop this foam from two, three, and five feet on laminate flooring, and then two, three, and five feet on tile. The first was a backdrop, and the glass is completely intact. We'll start off with a side drop from sitting height, which would be two feet. I don't suspect there'll be any dinging on this since it is on the laminate floor. Looks great. Face drop. We have had a phone fell at this point. We'll have to see if this phone screen is still intact, which it is. Uh, looks great. It's just the same scratches that we've had on the device before. We're going to go ahead and move it up to three feet. Back drop. Simulate a pocket height drop. The back glass is intact. Side drop. We'll have to see if there's any denting on the device since the scratch test proved to be a little bit uh, tougher on the phone than we thought, but it looks like it has come through unscathed. Face drop from pocket height. See the phone flipped over and the screen is still 100% intact. No cracks or shattering on the device at this point. Back drop from five feet. It looks like the phone has come through unscathed, no shattered or cracking on the back glass. Side drop from five feet. See no denting on the bezel of the device. It looks like I popped the SIM card tray out just a little bit, but it looks like it's come through without any actual dent of the bezel. Face drop. This is the all important one from five feet. And the phone survives without an issue, which is fantastic. Backdrop on tile from two feet. Back glass has survived. Side drop. See if we have any denting on the bezel here. It looks like there's a little tiny dent right next to the antenna band. Face drop. This is the all important. Let's see if, and we do have a corner shatter on the device, you can see that that bottom corner does have shattering on it. So it did break from sitting height on tile, so two feet. Three feet on the back glass. No issues with cracking on the back glass at this point. We'll do a side drop on the same corner, see if we have an additional dent. We do have more denting there. Nothing major at this point, uh, but you can definitely see it. Do another face drop, it actually turned into a side drop and actually broke the tile uh, from three feet. It did expand the crack on the device. You can see there's a little bit of a dentation here on the corner, uh, but it did not shatter the glass, uh, which is interesting. Back drop, and it shattered that tile ended up being kind of on the corner of the device. We should see no shatter on the back glass. Doesn't look like the front glass has gone anymore, but there is a pretty good indentation on the bezel next to that speaker line there. Here's a face drop. I'll have to see how much more it shattered, and it did a lot more damage here. So this would be a five foot face drop. You can see that uh, the additional two corners on the device have shattered. There's some cracking through the center of the screen. It still does function. We'll do a backdrop and see if we have any shattering on that back glass. See the screen is still functional and the back glass comes out unscathed, uh, which is fantastic. That's a five foot drop onto tile and no cracking. Do a side drop. Definitely have a well-defined ding. It looks like there's a, an additional ding here on the opposite corner as well. Another face drop. See if this phone is still functional. Now we have all four corners shattered. It looks like that's gonna be the shatter points of the device. It's going to be in those corners. The cracking goes through all the glass, but the screen is still fully functional at this point. Trying for a backdrop, we got another face drop, and you can see that it is uh, definitely not doing so great at this point. The LED indication light is trying to pop out, and the glass is small and kind of pitted. It definitely might cut you. We did a backdrop, 
Here's a camera point of view from the phone as it falls down. And the back glass is still unscathed. It's supposed to survive a five foot drop 80% of the time. Uh, so it's interesting that the phone shattered a little bit early at a two foot drop. So another point of view from the camera of the back. It looks like there was a nice solid hit at that point. And we do have a crack on the back glass down here on the corners. Uh, so if it hits kind of squampus on the corner, that's when you're gonna get your shatters of the device. So do an overall quick look at the phone. You can see all the shattering across the front of the device. It seemed like it shattered right at the curved corners of the glass. And Corning does say that uh, that is a weaker point if the glass has been manipulated. I'm wondering if that curvature affects that at all. You can see that we do have those solid dents on the bezel of the device, uh, but it held up quite well. It's not as big as we've seen on the other flagship that we've tested on this channel. I was actually hoping it would hold up a little bit better, maybe make it to the three foot drop, possibly the five foot on the screen, but we just didn't see that. It makes me wonder if the materials you use, the glass and the metal, make the phone just more prone to accidental damage than we've seen with possibly a plastic frame phone. If you want to see the repair video on this device, I'll throw that up uh, in, on the channel in the coming days, so check that out. As always, I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video if you want to see more drop tests and tough tests like this. Hit me up on Twitter if you want to see when these videos are going to be released before they actually come out. I appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.